Have you ever wanted to bludgeon an elder dragon to death with a guitar? Have you wanted to use the duke stick but have been afraid to do the things that you've heard online? Well, Hunters, we're going to be dispelling some of those myths and giving you more information along your way with the musical master in the truth about hunting horns, starting right now. Hunters, I'm going to be going over with you five things, the five biggest things that I've heard online that I wanted to bring light to and inform the community of when it comes to this hunting horn. So I'll be time stamping each of these points on your screen now, so if you want to skip to those points in the video, if there's something you want to see, feel free to. So the first thing we're going to discuss is who benefits from the hunting horn, if it's just best for group play or if it's good for solo play as well. Next thing we're going to discuss is damage. Can it do damage? Just how much damage can it do? As well as what kind of damage does it inflict on different parts of the body and can it in fact cut tails? The third point we're going to discuss is songs. What kind of choices do you have as far as your songs are concerned as well as the list of songs that you can pick from. The fourth point is going to be your general rules of play and things that you want to try your best to stay away from. The final and fifth point that I wanted to give you guys is going to be a couple builds that I've come up with that range from a comfy build with a status horn all the way up to a max DPS elemental horn. So let's get into it. So who benefits from the hunting horn? Do you benefit as well or is it just your group? Well guys, Right now, this is non-buffed, I have 1,407 attack and 931 defense. So after we play our medley here of defense up large, attack up large, and our self-improvement buff, and then encore it, let's see what we end up with. So I am now at 1,928 attack and 1,111 defense. It's a lot of ones. So, do you benefit? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you absolutely benefit. Well, now that we've got our buffs, as you can see here, and we know that we benefit from them, how much damage can we actually do for what, what will be your DPS rotation? Well, let's see. That is 939 damage, and this is with the Comfy build. So, it, it only goes up from there, because the well, some of the other builds I'm going to show you guys, once again, as this is a Comfy build, it's not as much damage as doing something that's actually maxed out and has all of your damaging things like or damaging skills like agitator and so on and so forth. So on the subject of damage as well, when you're dealing attacks to your the monster's body, you're dealing exhaust damage, so the monster's gonna tire out faster. But what we really want to try to go for, if there's not a hammer user around, is we want to go for the head. Because the hunting horn will do stun and KO damage. So you can knock a monster out just by continually hitting them with your damage rotation or just with playing your notes for your melodies as well as when you're doing your songs itself. Now to answer the last question about damage, can the hunting horn actually sever parts? Yes it can, but it's not very reliable because you've got two attacks that you can do with the hunting horn that do severing or cutting damage. So your first one is going to be after you play a note you can play another note and you do this stab animation like you guys just saw here. And that little hit there, that does severing damage. As well as when you do your stabbing into the ground for your left trigger, that does severing damage as well. So the third point I wanted to share with you guys is what exactly your song sets are. And especially if you're going after your savvy horns, which are going to be your best in slot now just from the customizability aspect of it so you can get exactly what you want for any situation that you can think of. If you want to add more elemental damage or elemental horn, if you want to just have a beat stick uh, with one of your status horns, if you want to have a beat stick elemental horn, if you want to have something that can prevent blight from let's say Valhazak, and you, that way you don't have to worry about having the miasma jewels in your set. You don't have to worry about getting your health cut down from effluvium. You can do all of that. And you can put it on any horn that you want with the Safi stuff. So, that being said, there are a total of 15 different song sets. I'm going to put the base set and the two song sets that don't have upgrades on your screen right now. Next is going to be your four attack song sets and the monsters that you can look at if you want to know what they are. Now we're going to do the stamina set. And finally we're going to finish up on the elemental sets. So 
as you guys saw with those, each of those different song sets you get you have different things that each one of those do so you want to look at a song set and try to find out what works best for you what is going to fit your play style best point number four is going to be your general rules of play how what do you want to do with this weapon what do you not want to do with this weapon well, the simplest answer i can give you is attack <laughs> what you want to do with this weapon is you want to attack you don't want to be that guy that sits in the back of the mat with the horn and doing what they call corner horning and then just coming up to do damage occasionally and then run away again before your buffs go away. You do not want to be that guy because you're really not helping your team as much as you think you are. So just get in there. Get in there and do your damage. If you start getting hit, get out, heal, and then go back in. It's just like any other melee weapon. But as far as your best rotation, your fastest rotation to get your buffs out, you want to do a note, then press back and do a note, do your next note, and then press back and do the fourth note. So it should look like this. And last hit. And then you can go right into playing your melody from there. I'm going to see a lot of people online as well running around with the hunting horn with wide range and mushroom answer and all of that you can do that don't get me wrong but beings as the hunting horn has such a slower animation than things like let's say the dual blades or the sword and shield or the light bow gun it's really not best for hunting horns to be trying to focus on all that at the same time you really just need to focus on your melodies and keeping your up times up because if you're you're going shifting back and forth with your attention from looking at your your teammates health to looking at your melodies to make sure your melodies don't expire it's a lot to take in especially for new hunting horn players and like i said with the sheathing time you're just you're going to have to take things away from your build as well as adding in the wide range and the mushroom mancer that take away from your damage so that you can do those extra things so just Try to leave the hunting horn to the hunting horn. Just play your melodies, do your damage, and get your dudes in. So guys, the last thing that I wanted to leave you with is a couple builds that I put together. So the build that you see in front of you right now is going to be your comfy build. You can see exactly where I put my jewels at. I would like for there to be a double medicine jewel, but unfortunately, if there is one, I don't have it. <laughs> so that would be why there's that one piece of handicraft in there. So Hunters, this second set here is going to be your max DPS set for your status hunting horns. Uh, as you can see, I've got you know max reply, max attack boost with the two in the, the mantle, as well as all five points of agitator and the other damaging skills that we need. This third set that's on your screen now is going to be an elemental horn set with the full Safi armor set. So you'll get the armor bonuses from that being the 40% affinity as well as 150 element on top of the other skills that I have equipped. So the last build that I want to leave you guys with is what's going to be your highest damage elemental set with the four piece Silver Rathalos and the Garuga Greaves. So it's just like any other elemental weapon that you want to max out your damage for, Silver Rathalos still reigns king. And that is the truth about Hunting Horns Hunters, so hopefully this dispelled any negative stigmas that you had about the weapon. Please give it a try, it is a great weapon. There's so much that you can do with it, both in helping yourself and helping your teammates. So, if you guys enjoy the video, if you think that I missed something, if you would like to see me do um, another truth of on a different weapon, please put it in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dig the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Good luck out there, Hunters.